Okay guys, welcome back to Mark from Tanks today. We're going to do a video on why I use uh, these glass feeding trays because you guys ask me a lot. I've asked, you've, you've asked me countless times but I've never actually done a video on uh, why I do it. Now the simple principle behind it, a lot of you will already know this, is, is, is to stop the food going into the soil and going off. Um, but Technically, it's more than that. Um, you do not want a lot of your food going off into the soil because there are certain types of soil, in terms of soil, certain types of bacteria that live within the soil, okay, that are good and are bad, okay? It's not always a bad thing to have um, only one type of uh, bacteria living in your soil because there's different bacteria do different types of jobs, okay? Some of them transfer, for example, some of them transfer, uh, convert, sorry, um, nutrients into nitrite. Okay, some of them can, uh, convert them into nitrate. Okay, two different things, a couple of different types of bacteria involved there. But what we want to do here is, we don't want there to be a build-up of um, any type of bacteria under the feeding area. Okay, I think Garnelia Tom had a video on this a long, long time ago where he moved his dish, if I can find that video, I will link it in the description. And he moved his dish, and underneath the, the, the substrate was black. A little bit further over, it was normal. So there was a build up of a certain type of bacteria around this dish, okay? So I'm just going to show you that um, exactly um, how that looks because I use Garnelia Tom's uh, Shrimp Pudding Classic. We're going to put some in this tank, I'm going to put some in the dish. We're going to put some outside the dish. I'm going to put it next to the glass just so you can see it going into the substrate, okay? I just need to get my little chair over here. Now this food is typically is uber sticky. I've noticed in his last batch that it was very, very sticky. So I'm going to try and break off just a little bit here. And I'm going to leave a little bit hanging near the side because I want to put some in the dish as well. Okay, this part I will put on the outside, just near the base of the glass. Right, and it will all fall down into the soil. I think it will anyway. That's what always happens. And I'm going to put a little bit into the dish and you're going to see the difference, okay? Now, the thing I love about this food as well is um, it is suitable for all sizes of shrimp because it is a pasty food that kind of breaks up and goes into the like, like, like this little cloud that you're seeing. I think just for a second guys I'm going to stop the camera and I'm going to switch over to macro mode because I think I'm going to need it for here, okay? One moment all. Okay, welcome back guys. I think this is an absolutely superb um, example of why you need to use a feeding dish. Look how much food is going down here out of the reach of the shrimp. Okay, you can see it's absolutely flowing down into the substrate here. Okay, the one above it in the dish, if I can focus, because this is on macro setting now. You see how it's kind of like spreading out? It's staying on top because it's in the dish. Alright? And that's actually quite cool to see. Oh, look at all that food! Yeah, so that is basically why I use a feeding dish. Isn't that awesome to see? I didn't think it was going to actually be quite like that, so clear. I thought it would be like... Um, you know, like it would take a lot longer time, sort of thing. There you go. So anyway guys, you know what to do, you know the score. If you love this video, please smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed to me already, um, you really should, you will love my content. I do a lot of stuff on shrimp. And I do a lot of how-tos, breeding, etc. You will absolutely love my channel. I want to say thank you for watching guys, thank you for all the support, and I'll catch you in the next video, okay? Bye. Happy shrimp keeping.